today's class, we're practicing molarity problems. And we're asked in the first problem, what is the molarity of 5.23 grams of ferrous nitrate in 100 centimeters cubed of solution? So uh, one of the things we have to recognize is that centimeters cubed is equal to milliliters. We can, in fact, they're, they're interchangeable units of measure, centimeters cubed and milliliters. You'll also sometimes see cc. You'll see sometimes cc written on the side of a syringe. But it's all the same thing. There are 1,000 centimeters cubed, and there are 1,000 mLs, there are 1,000 cc's in one liter. So recognize that when you see it. Um, and one of the, and two conversion factors are helpful, two formulas, if you, if you like to call them that. Um, one is that the molarity times the volume of the solution gives you the number of moles of solute. And if you have grams of a substance and you wish to convert into moles of a substance, you must divide by the molar mass. And if you have the moles of a substance and you wish to convert into grams, you have to multiply by the molar mass. With those two formulas, you can solve just about any um, molarity problem. So the first step is to find out how many moles of ferrous nitrate we have. We have 5.23 grams of ferrous nitrate. We divide by the molar mass of ferrous nitrate. Here's the molar mass of iron. Here's the molar mass of nitrogen times two, because that bracket means there's two nitrogen atoms being um, multiplied by the molar mass, which is 14.0067. And then there's six oxygen atoms, which have to be accounted for, six times 15.394. Add that all together, and it gives you the molar mass of ferrous nitrate. It turns out we have 2.9 times 10 to the minus 2 moles of ferrous nitrate. We then plug in the values we do have into the uh, formula after we rearrange it for to solve for molarity. So we transpose the V under the N, N over V moles per liter is the definition of molarity. 2.9 divided by 0.1 gives you 0.291 molar. That is the concentration of ferrous nitrate in this particular solution. In the second problem, we're asked, how do you prepare 2.5 times 10 to the 2 centimeters cubed of 4 molar cobaltous chloride? And we have to recognize here that 250 centimeters cubed is equal to 250 mLs, which also equals 0 0.250 liters. We're going to plug it into the equation that says the number of moles of substance is equal to the molarity times the volume. The units of molarity are in moles per liter. It's four molar solution. There's 250 one thousandths of a liter, or 0.25 of a liter. Liters will cancel, and we're left with an answer in moles. You need one mole of cobalt of chloride to prepare a solution that is four molar and that you only have one quarter liter of it. We then find out how much one mole of cobalt of chloride weighs. Here's the mass of cobalt. There's the mass of chlorine times two. And it turns out to 129.8392 in the calculator. We're only allowed to report the three level, uh, three significant figures. So we say 130 grams of uh, cobaltous chloride needs to be dissolved and diluted with water to 250 mL. And the third question, we're asked, how do you prepare half a liter? It says decimeter cubed. I forgot to mention that. One decimeter cubed. It's okay. Uh, one decimeter cubed is equal to one liter. Yeah, that's good to know. Um, so half, half a liter, uh, half of a decimeter cube is the same as half a liter. Uh, we cross up the liters when we enter the values into the formula. 1.5 times 0.5, we need 0 0.750 moles of silver fluoride. Here's the mass of silver. Here's the, the molar mass of fluorine. That's its molar mass, 126 grams per mole. We need 0.75 moles, so we multiply the two quantities together, together to find out how many grams of silver fluoride are needed. And it turns out to be that many grams. Again, we reported the three significant figures. And we say dissolve 95.1 grams of silver fluoride in water and dilute to 500 ml.